successfully completing the studies. I also congratulate and thank your parents, your guardians, and your sponsors for the sacrifices that they have made to ensure that you achieve this important milestone. Similarly, I congratulate your professors and lecturers for a job well done. Congratulations to you all, and may God continue to bless and guide you as you live to serve our society and establish yourselves. This 70th graduation is of great significance to the Ministry of Education and Sports and the country at large for a number of reasons. First, because the record shows, as you heard the Vice Chancellor say, that Makerere has this time presented more female than male graduates. There is 50.5% compared to 49.5% respectively. I am pleased to note that, that government's deliberate efforts in promoting girls' education is starting to pay off. I therefore congratulate the University Council, the management and Senate for this monumental achievement. But at the same time, I want to draw your attention to the fact that the level of female graduates at undergraduate level is not matched by that at master's degree level, which declined to 40.1% and it is even a lower 27.9% at PhD level. There is a reason for our researchers to further investigate the issue that leads to this decline. Secondly, I'm also happy to note that Makere University continues to be a major destination for students in the region seeking higher education. That notwithstanding, the higher education terrain is changing every other day. The number of universities offering alternative programs has increased, and it is therefore important that you reposition Makerere University to focus more on science and technology, on innovation, and graduate studies where you have gained some competitive advantage. I know also through the Higher Education Science and Tec Technology HES project, which my ministry has been implementing with support from the African Development Bank, that the university has established an incubation center to nurture ideas and link university researchers to industry, who are the end users. This development is commendable, and we shall continue to support the university in this area. I encourage you to seek more support, linkages, and partnerships by taking advantage of your unique areas of strength. Government expects your research to contribute innovation, knowledge, knowledge generation and inform our strategies for industrialization and development. Right Honorable Prime Minister, Makere University is also one of the 24 universities that host the World Bank funded centers of excellence in the Eastern and Southern Africa. These centers were selected through a competitive process which testifies to this university's ranking in the region. Council and management should therefore focus on how to create a conducive environment that will enable the university to continue producing skilled graduates, stimulating collaboration and knowledge exchange with industry and government. 
in line with our national development priorities. As I always say, universities should not isolate themselves from the wider society. You are expected to engage with communities on challenges they face and find practical solutions to address them. Now, before I conclude my brief remarks and invite our chief guests to address us, let me say just how much we, the general public, look forward to a time when Makerere, as a leading university in this country, will find a more reasonable and educated way of resolving conflicts. Because peace in Uganda, as in all nations, is a foundation for all other things to exist at all. Universities are places where you are supposed to learn and to prepare for your life in a wide, free, and expectant world, where many people will be looking to you to lead in finding solutions, especially in young countries such as our own. A university graduate is looked at as a responsible and important participant in society. Therefore, the general public understandably become disappointed and are confused to see people who are tomorrow's leaders choose as their preferred methods of resolving disagreements only those methods that actually promote conflict. My prayer, therefore, is that as we commission you to go out into the world to serve a wider society, you will not exhibit the conduct of intolerance and lack of restraint. I'm nevertheless confident also that we will soon find lasting solutions to many of the challenges at our public universities as the White Paper Committee set up on the Rondele report finalizes its work in order for us to embark on reforms in the management and operation of public universities in our country. As I once again congratulate you, the graduates, I implore you to always endeavor to pursue peace and love and to be of service wherever you go. Together, we can and shall make our communities, our nation, the world, and the world a better place to live in. I want to thank you for listening to me, and it is now my honor to invite our chief guest, Right Honorable Hakana Rugunda, our Prime Minister, to deliver his message on behalf of the visitor, the President. Thank you, and God bless you.